Furry Friends Friday is sponsored by Subaru of Baton Rouge. Well, happy Friday morning, everyone. You know what time it is. It's our next edition of Furry Friends Friday. And here we have Alison Barrio from Dante's Hope, and she has Winnie and also Sasha. And now you can just go ahead and take it away, and I apologize if I got the last name a little <laughs> off pronunciation. That's okay. But yes, this is Winnie. She's probably a one, um, one to two year old little chihuahua mix. We saved her from a shelter when she was super pregnant and she had her babies in our home. Um, all of her babies have been adopted now. And so she's looking for her just forever so home. She weighs about seven pounds and she loves everybody. Um, she would do great with kids, no kids. She loves my baby, um, other dogs. She, she's just, you know, a very sweet girl girl so okay and what's that adoption price again to adopt her so our adult dogs are three hundred and fifty dollars okay. and that includes all their sets of shots mm -hmm. um, her microchip her spay or neuter and her rabies okay. so everything that you'd need and then we have another dog we have Sasha just down here just yes. all comfortable on the floor <laughs> <laughs> and just go ahead and tell us about sure. Sasha so yes, yeah, so Sasha was found um, on the side of the street. Her, her, her family that saved her, you know, took care of her for a little bit, but they really couldn't handle her husky mentality. Mm -hmm. And so they, off, they asked if we could take her and she is great. She is not your typical husky. Mm -hmm. um, she just likes her walk. So she already had her morning <laughs> walk and then she's very chill. Um, mm -hmm. She loves kids as well. She loves other dogs. Mm -hmm. She probably would not do great in a home with a cat. Um, she, you know, normally huskies don't love cats. So, but other dogs, kids, anything else, she's great. As long as you walk her and play with her for a little bit, she really is a wonderful girl. So and her, her fee is three fifty as well. And I can tell because, I mean, every time I see a big dog, not, not most breeds, but some is like, you know, automatically think, aggressive, gonna attack you. But then she's just been so sweet, just walking around the station, just like, trying to love, love. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I think a lot of things too, is you know, people with Huskies think that they're kind of crazy and it's all about, you know, how you train them mm -hmm. and if they can get that exercise and that stimulation. And as long as you give her that, mm -hmm. she is happy and, you know, very, very loving. So um, she would make an excellent pet as well, as long as someone understands what her needs are. Okay, and so we have these two dogs from Dante's Hope, but you probably have plenty more dogs maybe cats too that are available for adoption what kind of adoption events do you have or where or where do you normally have adoption events yes so we are always filled with you know 90 percent uh, puppies and dogs a lot of small breeds and large breeds we do have the occasional kitten or two every now and then but um, our main adoption location is the segan lane pet smart um, in the, in that uh, marketplace across from uh, Kohl's and Lowe's and all there. That's where mm -hmm. we are every Saturday from 1030 to 2. Okay. And then you can always check us out on our Facebook page. That's where we post our dogs first. And then a lot of times mm -hmm. they always go on Pet Finder as well. Um, so you can message us through Facebook, call mm -hmm. the number there. If you see a dog that you like and you just go to our website and fill out an application and we'll reach out to you if we feel like you're a good fit. Okay, well that is perfect information. So yes, reach out to Dante's Hope. They are right here in Baton Rouge. And if you can't adopt a dog, maybe you can, you know, someone can sign up to volunteer. Just try to get involved with helping these other animals find their homes and just keeping, you know, whatever needs they need met, whether that's more food or anything like that. Yes, so we always need more fosters. We tell people if you can't adopt, maybe foster. You know, these all of our dogs stay in our home. We don't have a facility. We have a few doggy daycares that are partner with us that have been wonderful additions to our group, but we are mainly fosters. And these two girls have been in my home with me, and we have, you know, any kind that you just tell us what you want to try out and it's a really fun experience because you can foster a breed that you may not you're unsure about and fall in love with it and maybe you want to keep her him or her you know so we always need more fosters I tell people especially you know during the summertime when your kids are at home try it out mm -hmm. see, see and you might love it and if you can't foster them maybe donate you know like you're saying donate mm -hmm. some food for us pads for the puppies um, or any monetary donation always goes a long way for all of our fosters that we have Okay, well, that is good information to know. Thank you so much, Allison, for Thank coming you. out from Dante's Hope. Reach out to them on Facebook to see how you can get involved or adopt your next beautiful, loving dog into your forever family. Thanks for coming Thank out. Thank you. <laughs>